Hello and welcome back to another episode of uh, Diaries of Death. This is World of Warcraft Hardcore on Stitches with our Frostmage. My name is Saiken and we are level 57. Today we are venturing into none other than uh, the good old Western Plaguelands. We got a couple of quests here, the Lucky Charm uh, for once. <clears throat> then we got to get the Cauldron uh, Key there and the Diary Quest. And there is another quest available here, so plenty of quests actually, and a matter of time, it's yet another quest. <clears throat> As you know by now, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, the Plague Lens, but uh, we only have Western Plague Lens and Eastern Plague Lens and uh, Silithus as uh, the quest areas uh, that are remaining, so really there isn't that much we can uh, do. Unless we want to grind the last levels, which of course we don't, because uh, some of the quests here, for instance, unlock um, vendors, uh, ghost vendors that uh, give you recipes. And of course we would want to get those, so we're not backing off. Uh, this, is, this has not been or will never be a channel where uh, forfeiting or being a coward is an option. Uh, caution okay, coward not. Anyways, we're going to get the Lucky Charm hand in first. And if you remember from a couple of episodes ago, uh, we need to go uh, through that field. A level 60 grinding away here, which is fine by me. Uh, actually got a couple of 60s. And you can see the good old Scarlet Patrol is uh, still there. We're going to sneak into this house. Since everything is nicely cleared, might as well just hand that in. Of course, respawns are happening. I don't want to be stuck in a house without the option of getting out. Which is why we are clearing the respawn. Still enough mana to go. Oh, oh, yep, I can see where this is going. Good, yeah, now we're, we have full respawn. If my memory serves me well, we needed to go to the upper level. That level 60 Paladin was just clearing that, or had cleared it beforehand, be it as it may matter now. Uh, we're just re-clearing it. Of course, being in level 57, we have a little bit more leeway, such as the aggro radius not being just as massive as it used to be. Therefore, things are not <clears throat> is problematic, but you can see we're yet again having plenty of respawns here. I'll just tank that with my uh, frost shield. believe like it's a full respawn man and they they just respawn it's so quick Here's your lucky charm. And... 
What does she want us to do? Western Plaguelands. Locate the other half of the good luck charm. Well, for the love of God. It indicates that it's supposed to be somewhere here. No. Is it on the cauldron? No. It's not, right? There we go, Jabbering Blue. That's uh, the one that supposedly has the charm. Locate the other half of the good luck charm somewhere on the farm in Western Plaguelands. Give the good luck charm to Janice Feldstone. Is that now the other half that we were talking about? Fabulous. One quest down, and we made it out without too much of a respawn for once. Very good. Next up. Matter of time. Let's go down there. Alright, matter of time seems to be inside of that house. Let me clear it. Good. After careful clearing of said house, a matter of time quest. It's upstairs. I love it when they are hiding NPCs somewhere deep, deep in these rooms. Yeah, sure, brah. It was a gnome. Wonderful. Oh no, temporal parasite. Ah, oh, these were bad news, man. I remember a lot of them spawning and they can slow or something. Oh, I definitely remember that was a pain in the arse quest. Okay, let's do it anyways. We're world buffed, so if not now, it's not happening. Oh, by the way, I forgot some news. Some of you might remember that we grouped up with a druid by the name of Dark Kitch. Uh, he helped us in Stranglethorn. Later, we grouped in the Hinterlands uh, group uh, quest together with him uh, and another mage. And he was just generally uh, a nice uh, guy. Unfortunately, he passed away today at uh, level 55. Didn't have it on camera because I was just chilling, but boy, boy, the death is real. Uh, died in uh, the season of the at the Ogres. That 
that we fought. So yeah, no joke. Uh, they were they were serious. Anyways, um, we need temporal rifts, and I think this year could. Be fun. Oh, over here. Good enough. Let me clear this out and then we're using uh, the quest item. Okay, so we're ready. I switched to frost armor just in case. I remember uh, these guys were manners. years I still remember these guys to be absolutely annoying. Oh yeah and when you kill some more respawn so it not only are you on a timer, but these guys are also rough and they're slow. Like, what does it do? 50%? No, no, no. 100%, 50% uh, reduction in casting speed and uh, slow speed. Yeah, like I said, not fun to, uh, to deal with them. Luckily, Frost Armor is a pretty good counter against uh, these guys. Time between casts by 54, movement speed reduction 60%, yeah, so... Tooltip isn't particularly correct. Okay, let's try that again. Damn, this device is definitely scary. Yeah, and up to three can spawn, which makes it even worse. I can do the rest um, as fast forward. We need to kill like what, 15 of them. And we'll do exactly that. These parasites are crazy. Listen, I summoned two, killed one more, 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 and yet another one spawns. That is how they get you, and they always slow you, and there's always one more. Luckily, at some point, I just could kill them far enough away, and now we're nicely resummoning our consumables. But yeah, if it would be for a mage and for the ability to reset, it would really be scary. Crazy. That's like two, three, four, five, six, seven mobs in a row without mana break or anything in between that I needed to fight. And see, it's always the same uh, stuff, right? So you're killing them, another side spawns. And then they slow you, which makes it so much harder to get away. But
this time it's the last parasite so we're taking our nice distance and a few respawning parasite well I remembered correctly that that was a bad quest so that's an example of how the uh, Western Plaguelands are getting you there's always respawn always just clutter and another mob uh, that is after you it's really really annoying at the one uh, on the one hand but also uh, challenging um, don't know if they wanted it to do that way but uh, I can certainly promise that uh, what, when I was here the very first time I got surprised so often and uh, there are so many like gotchas uh, which in hardcore uh, will would spell complete doom all right I'll uh, find myself uh, in here fast forwarding for you all right after a short episode of fighting matter of time is being traded in Nineteen stat points versus eighteen. I like my stamina more. Could locate five watches. I don't remember that quest, but I think we can just collect them. Okay, yeah. Good. Let me just wreak havoc uh, here a little bit. And... and I'll fast forward it for you. Let's just double check real quick. No mobs or anything are spawning, right? No, it's just a watch. Okay, cool. Fast forward. Good. We got all of uh, the stopwatches finally so it's time to hand it uh, back in and boy for once we don't even need to fight against anyone in here putting a quest vendor behind aggressive mobs is i don't know it's a design decision that i wouldn't agree uh, with um, A tune dampener. Nice. Alters the fabric of time. Suspending benefic uh, beneficial effects uh, from dungeon slaying, diamol, zulgurup, and felwood. Ooh. Oh, that is good. But of course, 10 gold, man. And it looks like it's one time only. Yeah, I double checked. It's 10 gold pieces. That's a little bit too steep uh, for me at the moment. Maybe later. But it's good to know that the item is here. That's not bad. Um, next up, Mrs. Delson's diary. That seems to be the most deadly uh, quest. So let's go there. Good, no indication uh, so far that that is a deadly quest. It's just a lot of people seem to have died here. That's the biggest red spot besides right there. All right, we're going to give it a try nonetheless to see how it goes. So far things are looking good. I cleared my way all the way to the cauldron. Cauldron Lord is here. Uh, some level 56 gnome mage is apparently doing the quest back there as well so we're going to see what his uh, approach will be seems to be okay for now let's just get the call from door little uh, no mage is okay so we're f we should be fine as well i don't know why so many people die here maybe it is the portal okay cauldron uh, keeper 
gives us the cauldron key and we should be high level enough to approach it without triggering very nice that quest is done and now we're to do the next quest the one that seems to be deadly for whatever reason good we're seeing the gnome pull out quite a few of uh, these guys he seems to be fine and listen i'm just waving we're friends and yeah this guy apparently has just a lot of mobs in uh, in there which might be the reason why this is a problem in the first place says no that's not where we want to go we want to go into the barn okay so my explanation so far is it must be mob density and that you are double or triple elsewise i can't see why this here is particularly more difficult than other stuff that we have done buffed well, that's unfortunate okay we cleared out the front of uh, the house and I, it's definitely mob density i mean look one two three four five six seven eight and a couple of them in there as well it's just a clear out uh, time and just overall time that it needs respawns are happening already Just get some uh, real quick. already started to respawn so yeah you need to be at a higher level in order to do this quest without problems wait what where's the diary Skeleton, uh, skeletons, not a random one, but one of uh, these dropped the key.
none of these, otherwise it would uh, show in Questy. Hmm. Wandering Skeleton is the right uh, one, but where is that? No wandering skeleton near. All right, let me search it. After a little bit of waiting, we got ourselves a wandering skeleton that we were looking for. Apparently, according to uh, Wow Hat, uh, that is a 15-minute respawn timer. This guy had the key, and only with the key we can open that little um, outside shed that spawns good old farmer Dawson That now gives us the key and that allows us to go into the other house where we can uh, open a locked cabinet and then finally complete the quest. So a lot of experience that you could get. I have no idea why people are dying left and right because so far, well, maybe it could be mob density. But yeah, I'll clear out the house and fast forward for you. So I moved into the house, double check difficult it is to uh, pull and turn out the uh, no, it's more wrong by really really wrong you could single pull most of uh, the stuff up here no need for double or triple uh, pull but okay no surprise uh, there maybe This one here indeed is quite bad, prevents you from regularly drinking, you take nature damage every 15 seconds, so uh, luckily it's just two minutes. I got it once, I already ice blocked it off, don't want to be in a situation where I now cold snap ice block again, uh, so mm, we just have to deal with it. Alright, so end of the quest inside. All we need to do is uh, drink up a little bit. Not that easy with a stupid volatile infection. Seven thousand XP is nice. Got a ring for it. Thirteen stamina. I think that might even be an upgrade. Ten stamina for spirit. Oh yeah, that's an upgrade. Very good. We're done here. Next up, the wildlife is suffering too. By the way, I reflected why so many people die there. I think I got it uh, figured out. The one skeleton does have an ability that fears you. I didn't think much of it because uh, naturally as an undead best race ever, uh, you got Will of the Forsaken. So fear is really a no issue. However, I was thinking uh, if the guy fears you 
and then fears you into something else and you're still in fear then you will add uh, on such a densely populated uh, spot you will add quite a few enemies so i think that is why we see this huge red spot there the fear ability which just forces people uh, to run into other enemies or simply interrupt it Ooh. rip zack level 49 that's bad um before by the way i think before we do that uh, there is another cauldron uh, quest let me just return uh, the other quest real quick I'm seeing the third cauldron and I immediately go like, wait a second, uh, but there's another quest. Alright, quest trade in, I think we get a nice stamina buff. Very nice. Yeah, we're not going to do the level 60 quest, PvP quests are also uh, nothing f uh, worth mentioning. Alright, fantastic. So. Uh, there is indeed a follow-up cauldron quest, as I was suspecting, and therefore we can do, we can get the uh, Wild Life, Life is Suffering 2 quest and do the cauldron quest at the same time. And then there is still unfinished business, so it's a little bit more to do in the uh, Western Plaguelands. And so far, uh, the Plaguelands have been okay to us, could have been much worse. Good. We freed up our way to the cauldron, together with Bazon, our mage friend. And I think we're both uh, going to do a little cauldron quest here. another day in the office by the way right there blood of heroes uh, is an instant kill yet another like tricky situation where the uh, gets a gotcha moment drink up and then I think there is another wildlife quest in here good let's see if we can simply move in uh, we need to kill diseased wolves all right uh, there is yep but it's straightforward I'll do that Good, after a short hunt of eight wolves, which also gave us a bit of tender meat, I find it suspicious that anyone would uh, eat disease-ridden wolf meat, but okay, whatever. Um, after that is done, we are now ready to hand the quest back in. Just need to clear the quest giver and then we can hand it back in. are bad news by the way these guys can ice block you oh, they are not that bad news but nonetheless nice of, uh, frost resist and of course mob density man okay fast forward for you all right so wild love suffers and of course now diseased grizzlies are on the menu which is going to be our just next uh, step i suppose at the same time uh, we're handing in the next bulwark quest or 
thinking about it, we're not, because uh, that'll continue giving us a nice little buff. So let's just wait. We're going to do the Grizzlies and then maybe the quest up there. All right, so we killed eight of these beautiful brown diseased bears. And we're now going to Malgris Deep the Diver Driver yet again. No, Deep River. Okay, well, that is a difficult word. Anyways, to Mrs. Deep River. And we're going to hand it in. She potentially will get us either the spiders or some other follow-up quest. But so far, we're doing very well. Afterwards, like I mentioned, we're going to do unfinished business. Good. Mrs. Deep River. Now asking me for a glyphed branch, glyphed oaken branch. All right, that's interesting. Where would I find that? Well, that's just a thunder bluff uh, delivery. Should be relatively straightforward, and we are trading in the cauldron quest. Now let's do unfinished business first. I think there's, if I recall correctly, there was no further cauldron up there. We're just going to do the quest, <clears throat> then trade in, and then we should be fine. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, well, that is Scarlet Bastion. I remember there was a quest leading you into it, and then essentially uh, the unfinished business is just a quest, um, I think the escort quest out. So let's... First of all, return the quest. I think uh, the next one will get us there. All right, hand in of the Bulwark quest. That gives us another stamina buff. And have I been right? The Gatheron's withering. Ah, Western Plague Land. Oh, that's down there. Pretty sure there was another quest that leads us in here. Mm, nah. Well. It seems uh, that we ran pretty much out of quests here. Oh no, there is a cauldron key. Never mind. Uh, that, we did not run out of it. There was just another cauldron that I didn't have on my radar. Let's do that. All right, time for us to get the last cauldron. This one is a bit more interesting. It has only ghosts and this hammering breath. Also the amount of visions of mana burn that's great forecast. Definitely nothing and no location that you would AoE farm at. So our idea is to get the Gordon Master and the key will prepare that and fast forward it for you. Good, there is the Quadrant Lord just spawned. I don't think that we can single pull him, but that's okay. Trading in. All right, trading in now. Jump up, carefully moving all the way to the entrance. And of course, we are pulling. Come spell on the mana burn. Once the mana burn is yes. These guys are not a problem. I figured out, by the way, that the Hungering Wrath are a problem. They have a stacking, uh, debilitating touch. 
20 stamina per and if you are getting hit multiple times it refreshes the duration and adds another 20 stamina which is nasty if you think about it all right let me trade in the quest and we see that uh, whether the last step actually leads us into the scarlet uh, territory good so time to trade in was that everything Mission accomplished. Okay, there we go. Well, that's what I was hoping. Um, you know, I mean, as much as I like 11 stamina, mine is better, but. It is almost four, uh, worth four gold pieces, so I'm not going to complain. Very good. However, that now means we are definitely quite far advanced uh, here in the eastern, um, uh, in the western Plaguelands, uh, and by crossing this bridge we are already in the western part so uh, that means we are at the end of this episode we covered uh, almost all if not all of uh, the western plaguelands the unfinished business remains unfinished for now but we can always go a little bit uh, up there once we do have a quest uh, and that's pretty much it for now uh, next time we are going to go into the eastern plaguelands uh, there are definitely more quests and over time both of the Plaguelands are going back and forth with their questing but more to come in the next episodes thanks a lot for watching guys have a good one and see you soon bye bye